Well, hello guys, welcome back. I think we're gonna have an all Norse household for a while. Um, I figured this was a pretty big job. I better check my discernment. So I checked my runes and I got Yara, which is about what you plant today, you reap tomorrow. So if I want to reap not going to jail or getting a fine tomorrow, there was only one solution to destroy everything. Long boring story short, we destroyed all 12 temples, uh, everything that I imported, including two things they gave us from contest winners, because I don't know if those contest winners want me to have that stuff, so I deleted that too, because I'm like, well, if you want me to have it, if you're insisting I have it, you'll give it back to me. If not, I'm glad it's gone, because you change your mind every five minutes, Oculus, actually Facebook. So I got rid of everything. We burned it all to the ground. The old man's good about that. And I have such a disastrous relationship this point, at this point with Asmodeus and Mammon that he said no. He said they seem like they're doing the right thing, but you already have these skill sets now. You can use them without them. And he said, uh, I find it unacceptable that they keep going in this pattern with you where they'll promise you something and then, oh, for some odd flaky reason, they, you know, renege on the promise. He said they're getting goods and services without paying for them. And you know the old man in a gift for a gift. If he gives you something you, with one hand, there's usually a receipt for payment in the other. So, <laughs> And you know, if you get something from Odin, you fucking earn that shit. You really did. If you get something from Loki, you earn that shit. No, they can be good and just give you gifts just because. They can. But in general, you earn your shit. And the better you treat them, the better they treat you. Now, this doesn't mean that if you get them a Rolex, they're going to treat you accordingly. But it does mean that if you treat them well and you do the hard work and you do the right thing, even when the right thing sucks, they'll take care of you. And the right thing was getting rid of all that stuff. Odin loved it. Freya loved it. Loki loved it. Thor loved it. Boulder showed up. All the Norse gods showed up and it was like a party and everybody's like, we're destroying everything. So they got me through it. So they got me through it and we destroyed everything. And I could feel... More recent additions weren't happy, and as I'm cleaning up under my desk after all this destruction, um, you know, Odin said, who's your ultimate god? And I said, you are. I love Loki, but we all know Odin's the boss man. He says, damn straight. He said, you don't answer to anyone before me. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> who's going to get their ass kicked now? And he's, he's just kind of tired of the bullshit I'm getting from Asmodeus and them, and they're acting, I don't know why, but it's like I got the juvenile version of them where they'll make a promise and then they'll find some flaked out reason to go back on it. This time it was they made a promise. First, um, Asmodeus had me ask him for something, and I was like, this seems fucked up, but okay. And he promised it to me. He said to have faith, and I had even done like all this discernment stuff, and the message from Mammon was to have faith. And because I gave them a gift, and then my discernment told me, you better get rid of that shit, there's something wrong here. I did have to go back in and delete a file, but I compensated them with something else I made for them. Um, They took that as reason enough to not follow through, and I'm like, you got what you wanted out of this deal. And now you just backed out of another deal. And I have the the feeling that for whatever reason, working with me, every time they've come through, it's been because they've had a spear point at their throat and had the old man just smiling at them in that way he does. The old man loves to negotiate, usually through pain. Um, Not with his people, but with other gods. He will, he will teach them a lesson they soon will forget. Nothing stops the old man. He's a force of nature, literally. So <laughs> you don't stop him. So, you know, and the thing is, you're not going to just fight Odin. Loki and Freya and all the other Norse gods, including thousands you have never heard about, we don't even know exist, are going to join the battle because they really love war, in case you haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> and they love to fight, and they're the most forceful group of gods I've ever worked with so odin decided that you know since they obviously can't handle being in command he's going to strip them of command and he said you know what baby you went through a lot why don't you get yourself those two games you're not destitute um the two games were what was involved and as modius had actually suggested them because i like them and he suggested them 
And it's not a fortune, it's like under $20. And the thing is, we have the money, but you know how Mammon is. 49 cents he won't let you spend. And so I'm going to go into negotiations with the old man. And the old man's taking over finances, and Loki's taking over everything else. And their Freya's coming in and taking over stuff, and we'll just rebuild. Sometimes you got to do that. Yara's about that too, guys. About Sometimes you got to destroy everything. And then you got to rebuild. Sometimes you got to burn the field, let the ashes settle in, make sure the ground is nourished, and then you can plant again. Sometimes you got to let a field go fallow for a couple years and just to be safe and cover our asses so we can be out of jail and still be making a YouTube channel. There was no choice. And the Norse gods are pretty good about it because all their temples were, they were giving me a sense that a lot of their temples were pretty fleeting and that you know it would be there for a season or so because if you you know if you've made something out of wood and you don't treat it properly and you put it out naturally what happens within x amount of years it starts to run fall apart so they were actually happy and they enjoyed destroying things they were having fun destruction yay lucky it was having just as much fun as everybody else. They made a party out of it, so they made me feel good about it, and Odin was happy, because Odin's idea is, if you want to tell me I can't have this, I will destroy it, and I will destroy everything you've given me, too. So we even destroyed stuff that they had given us. I was like, if it's capable of being destroyed, we're destroying it just to be safe. Any of the base material that we can't get to um, is fine. It, that will all be there, but anything they gave us that was able to be destroyed and doesn't just keep popping back into our inventory, we destroyed that just to be safe. Because I'm like, I don't know if these contest winners really wanted me to have this. I have no idea. Maybe they changed their mind by now. I don't know. So we destroyed it. Um, And it actually felt pretty good. By the time I was done, I felt good and I knew I'd done the right thing. Because, you know, the old man is merciful, so... We might go do a little light shopping. And some of the titles I was looking at were like 49 cents, 69 cents. But the deal only lasts a couple of days. And the old man's taking over. And honestly, I think it was the old man answering my prayers. He may not be the fastest god to answer prayers. But he will usually... And he can move fast as lightning. Like before you've asked, you have it. But I'm thinking, who's the god that gives comps? Because I got the most expensive cable box for free. Well, not cable box, Wi-Fi box. And I can't afford that shit. It's like a couple hundred dollar box. But they gave it to me because it's all they had. And uh, I'm not going to be paying for it because it was something that was covered. And them doing the work. They better damn well not charge me for that or I'll be going to the old man. And I said, um, you know... Odin and Loki are the ones that will give you comps. If you're working your ass off, they'll usually take care of you and you'll have unexpected good luck. You don't actually have to go outside the system. Mammon, Asmodeus, and company had approached me. They had approached me and kept approaching me to work, and it just it didn't work out. And I know a lot of you have worked with them in the past, maybe not those two specifically, or worked with other demons, but... They just, they did not work out. They seem too damn unstable. I mean, and that's coming from someone that works with Loki and Odin. So if I think you're unstable, they're somewhere between Loki and Odin and the God of the Old Testament. They're not quite as bad as Old Testament God, but they're closer to his end of the spectrum than they are to the Odin and Loki end of the spectrum. And I'm like, you're not behaving like any of the articles I've ever read on you. You're really erratic. You're both loose cannons. I can't have that. I can't have loose cannons. So, you know, we, we destroyed all the temples, but we'll rebuild. And we'll rebuild with stuff we know we're fine on. And we'll rebuild even better and stronger because we're just that determined. And we'll take all the lessons we learned in design. And I honestly had said after we you know, um, imported all this, I said, do you think we're using these imports as a crutch? I said, it's it's almost like um, we're, we don't have to be creative anymore because here the thing is already made for us. You know, I, it was kind of more fun in a way to make our own stuff to fail a lot and to make our own stuff than it was to just be able to import a model. Now, I'm sad that the models that I made myself can't even be imported, but what are you going to do? I have made those misbegotten monsters that are no longer there. I had made some hot tubs, some machines it, it was all it all looked pretty bad and last night as a comp because i had to take away their dancing girl model um i made a fall because if 
Facebook, Oculus, whomever you want to say it is, Oculus, will have a maze on their platform, and I can watch this, and it has pole dancers and some very nasty other stuff on there. I, I don't think pole dancers are nasty, but there are some nasty um, movies on there that are just... It involves a trash can, a Trump mask, and a guy in um, love, and we're we're going to leave it at that. And yeah, if I could see that shit and not ever unsee it, I was like pretty sure that I could put a poll up in a couple of the places, but we have to take those down too. So it's like, well, what are you going to do? So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Um, working with the Norse gods isn't always easy, but, you know, the Yara was right. You know, if I don't want to go to jail or pay a fine later on, the only solution was total and absolute destruction. And the old man is certainly good at that. So, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.